Ya entró la profe. Ya entró. Oh my God. Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you doing today? Fine, fine, teacher. It's fine. Happy because I can I can connect me. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday is rain a lot of and uh, the energy is not as I I don't can connect. Okay, that's awesome. And the rest of you? Um, well, I am trying to, to print what you sent this afternoon. This evening, I mean. Oh, you're trying to open it or to read it or, or what? No, I, I'm trying to, oh, to print it. Ah, to print. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got yes. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry that I did it late, but I usually um and do that with time. But for uh, it is uh, like they are like um uh, pushing us to finish the three sections by uh, tomorrow. Um, okay. Yeah. So. I had to hurry with that presentation and I did it as soon as I finished my shift and I oh started working that. <laughs> yeah. No, dear me. Yeah, but fortunately I, I finished it and I could send it to you and um, I do apologize because I did it in the last moment. <laughs> but, <and laughs> don't, worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, don't yeah. worry. be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, so um, it's been a crazy day, but better now that I see you here. <laughs> thanks, Dad. How about you? How was thanks, your God. day? Yes, thanks, Dad. <laughs> and what about you? How was your day? My day was, yeah, as yesterday, so busy with my husband. Okay, do you work in the same place? Yes, I try to help him because sometimes uh, we go to the airport to um, to transport some persons, some people there from there, and they don't speak the Spanish. So uh, I want, I need to go with him to help him to translate. Awesome! <laughs> Terrific! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice that you right. had the chance to practice with American people or, or native English speaker. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. I try to do my best, you know, but sometimes uh, it, it is difficult to understand, uh, especially to uh, Black people, you know. Ah, uh, yes, yes. It's difficult with them because they are, they, they don't speak, they rap. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yes, well, uh, when they speak, you don't know if they are singing or rapping, <laughs> what are they doing? So, yes, of um, course. Yeah. When, when, when people from Egypt, Egypt comes, they speak in... Um, in another language, I don't, I don't remember, Arabic, they speak Arabic, and, and they speak English, but, whoo, apenas hablan inglés. Yeah, yeah, but at yeah. least with some words, and uh, yeah, when that happens, whenever you speak with American people, and you think that they are speaking too fast, you can ask them to, to slow down, or, um, to paraphrase or use another word you can say can you explain me that in using another word if <laughs> some words yeah. that you don't really catch you can ask yes. them to use uh, explain again using other words different words or uh, yeah similar words yes. and they do it but that's awesome mm -hmm. that you have the chance to practice with um native english speakers that's nice mm -hmm. Yes, of course. <laughs> we are trying to do our. Nosotros apenas hacemos la cacha, como dicen. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. Um, yeah. 
I don't know. I, I think it's it's uh, for me. It's more difficult to understand the people from India. <gasps> from India too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is yeah. difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. But but they know. Most of them are. They know that it's, it's difficult to understand, them and they are patient. So that's mm -hmm. nice. Uh, yes. Okay. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> And so I sent the presentation as, and as you see, we are going to be talking about our neighbors, Ooh, our neighborhood. Your yes. Oh, what's yes. your neighborhood like? And as you remember, when we um, ask that question, we are asking for a description. Uh, yeah. So for example, if I ask you, Jerry, how is, um, how's your neighborhood like? Uh, case neighbor. Uh, neighborhood is the place where you live. Play. The place. Place. Lugares. Yeah. Uh, your you house. Yeah, 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 exactly. The place where uh, you live. What's your neighborhood like? Uh, always in El Salvador, in, in Santana. <laughs> Oh, you live in Santana. Okay. Yes, um, what is your neighborhood like? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Uh, my, I'm going to describe my neighborhood. Uh, my neighborhood is usually very quiet. Mm. Mm. My neighborhood is very quiet. It's kind of safe. It's a safe place. It's beautiful and it's very big. Okay. Uh, my neighbor is, is very small. Como digo, lleno de personas. Crowded. 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 I'm and, yeah, I'm gonna write it. And uh, my neighbor. How a beautiful place for uh, <laughs> for visit. Ah, it's a very a beautiful place for visitors. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Perfect. Can you ask the same question to another classmate? <laughs> que haga la misma pregunta a alguien más. What's your neighborhood like? Uh, Joaquin, okay. what's your neighborhood like? <laughs> we live in Santana too. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me? So? So, okay, Joaquin, continue. Okay. Um, Ask the same question to another classmate. Amazing place. Okay, it is an amazing Every place. Visit, um, go um, very happy. Mm. Only that. <laughs> okay, can you ask the question to another classmate? Another classmate. Romulo Edgardo. Hello, Joaquin. Hello, Romulo. Hello, Joaquin. Hello, Romulo. How are you? I am okay. Okay. Um, What oh, your neighborhood like? What's your neighborhood like? Uh -huh. What is your neighborhood like? Like, uh, my neighbor is uh, very pretty. There are two parks. There are a few houses. It's very quiet. <clears throat> um, the people are very friendly. Okay, it's very nice to live here. Excellent. Nice. Okay, so that's what we are be talking about 
stay in this section. Um, this is um, uh, section number three topic is what's your neighborhood like? And uh, as I told you before, neighborhood refers to uh, the place. And uh, this is crazy. Mm, sorry about that. So we're going to start with the conversation then. Chat. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we have the conversation. The topic of the conversation is your, I'm your new neighbor. Neighbor is the person. A neighborhood is the place. Is that okay. clear? Mm -hmm. yes. Neighborhood okay. refers to the place. Neighbor is the person. Now, conversation, I'm your new neighbor. Let us listen. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh. Yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Anda peludito, le dijo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, that's the conversation that we're going to be practicing. Let's see. Did you find a new vocabulary or a new word there? Yes. Laundromat. It's like laundry. Mm -hmm. uh, long. <laughs> Yes. Oh. Okay, here I have the. Ah, it's kind of different, the drawings, but I don't know why. It closed my presentation. Let me see if I can open it. No, this is not one. It's not that one. I'm going to share the same that is here. Can you listen to the um, no. Oh, it's kind of, I, I don't know, but before it rains, it gets crazy here. The internet and everything, so. Let me change. It is here, too. Uh, yes. I hate that. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so here is the conversation, the, the one that you just heard. I'm playing it now. Uh, so, did you find any new vocabulary or is there any word that you would like to um, to make the presentation yeah. clear? Yes? Teacher and Paul, I have a question about the new word. Mm -hmm. uh, near here? Near. Como cerca de aquí. Yes, that's exactly the meaning. Uh, near here. The pronunciation? This near one? here. Near here. Yes, near here. Near here. <clears throat> that's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank Any you. Any other question? You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes? I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? 
grocery store. A uh, grocery store is una tienda de, de abarrotes. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Candida. Uh, um, laundromat. It's the same as laundry, lavandería. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? Teacher. Yes. Can you repeat uh, the difference, the neighbor and neighborhood, please? Uh, neighborhood es el lugar. Es como decir el vecindario, la colonia. Eso es neighborhood. Uh -huh. Y neighbor es la persona, vecino. Oh, okay. Perfect. Neighbor. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other Thank question? You <laughs> ¿Cómo, di ¿Cómo dijo que era cerca de aquí? Near here. Near here. Near here. Right. Any other question? No more questions? No more. Okay, so I'm going to create the section rooms uh, in order for you to practice speaking and you practice this dialogue with your classmates. So let's get in breakout rooms. Uh, okay. Hoy sí, aquí estoy, teacher. <laughs> awesome, fantastic. Okay, let's join the rooms. Teacher. Yes. Yes, I can listen. I'm trying to get you in that room. I don't know why I see like your two devices. I don't know. Roberto de Pau, you are connected like from three different devices. I don't know what's going on. Bye. By the way, there is a barbing shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay. Um, Roberto, um, you are Jack and me okay. yesterday. Okay. Excuse me, I am your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh yes. I'm looking I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh good. And is there a laundromat near here? 
Well, I think there's one for us from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Thank you, Roberto. Okay. King Bauer. Uh, I'm Jack. Uh, excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I'm just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there is some on the funny street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there are a... I did call it Rio del Fondo. Well, I think there are a one across for the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Seguimos. Yes. Okay, who's Jack and I am Mr. Drake. Roberto? Yes, I, I'm Jack. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moving. Oh yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, thanks. Thank you, Roberto and guards. Yes, thanks to you. Yes. Okay, you did a very good job. Questions? Oh. Not yet missed. We return to main sections. Do you have any questions? Um, I was listening to one of your guys, so um, and I said that someone had a question. I have a problem. No sé por qué no 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 sé por qué no puedo ingresar al a los grupos. Yo le di entrar, pero me sacaba. Yes, I, I don't know why because I was trying to to um to include you in different groups and I saw that you were connected like from three different devices. <laughs> That's weird. Um so maybe that was a technical issue but but that's it. Um I know. Any question? No question. Okay, great. Uh, so, uh, from the previous, uh, okay, from the previous uh, exercise, you know, we were talking about uh, um, the previous question, it was, uh, what's your neighborhood like? And I included this because, well, sometimes uh, it is uh, the lack of vocabulary, the reason because of why we don't speak a lot, right? Uh, so like, for example, we have some adjectives here that they are very common, like, for example, crowded, Right? Do you remember I told you the meaning of crowded at the beginning of the class? What was crowded? Do you remember? Lleno de gente. Uh, yes, when there is a lot of people. Eh, lleno de personas. Yes, that's crowded. Um, and we have some other examples of adjectives that can um, help us to describe places. Let us practice pronunciation. Alive. 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 Amazing. 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 Beautiful. 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 Bright. 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 Calm. 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 Colorful. 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 Creepy. 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 Creepy.
Deserted. Deserted. Different. 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 Dry. Dry. Enchanted. 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 Fresh. Enchanted. Fresh. 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 Hot. 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 Incredible. 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 Interesting. 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 Magnificent. Modern. Modern. Uh, try to pronounce the letter N at the end because if not, it sounds like mother. No, mother. No. It's, mother. It's not, it's modern. modern. Yes, modern. 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 Mm -hmm. modern. Fairy tale like. Mystical. Mystical. Ancient. Majestic. Impressive. Spacious. Dazzling. Dazzling. Evocative. Evocative. All right, so that's it's like vocabulary that you may use um, when you are uh, describing a place. Do you have any questions here? Teacher, excuse me, teacher, can you repeat right. the pronunciation of, of the last word, please? Evoca, uh, evocative or? Evocated. 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 Oh, thank you. Evocated. What What is the mean, teacher? It's como um, um, evocador que que como que le invita a como acogedor. Ajá, que que le llama la 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 intención a ir, verdad? That's evocated, evocador. Mm -hmm. Like and that. Why? Why? Mhm. Creepy. Teacher, what does it mean? The, the beach is, is evocative for me. Evocative. Yes. <laughs> yes. What is the mean, teacher? I have long Why way is it like? Uh, fairy to like is when you say como de cuento de hadas. Yes. When you see a very uh, magical place and this uh, this fairy tale like um any other question creepy mm -hmm. what is the meaning of creepy creepy uh creepy es como escalofriante oh mm -hmm. and that's lean yeah, for example, you know that I, I have heard that the la, the Mansión de los Girolas is going to be a, a restaurant. Whoops. But, but I think that this is it's a very creepy place uh, to go know. there and have a meal. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. like to go there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a creepy it's a, place. Oh, it's like a fearful place then? Fearful like, place. Scary, yes. creepy, uh -huh, escalofriante. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes? What is the meaning of fire they like? Como de cuento de hadas. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like a magic place. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what about dazzling? A dazzling is deslumbrante. Un lugar deslumbrante. That's deslumbrante. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Thank you very much. Any other What question? What does it mean, ancient? Un, un lugar como antiguo. Uh -huh. Majestic is like uh, the new... Majestuoso. Uh, High 
yes, it's mystical. It's like misterioso in Spanish. All right. Thank you. Like um, mystico, uh, algo mystico es como misterioso. Uh -huh. It's similar in meaning. What is the meaning colorful? A colorful is el colorido. Un colorido con mucho color. What is the meaning bright? Bright. A brillante iluminado. Okay, let's move to the next part. In this, we have some of these, um, these are some modern adjectives that we can use. And let's repeat, you can find more new vocabulary here. Beautiful. 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 Clean. 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 Interesting. 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 Crowded. 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 Sure. Exciting. 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 New vocabulary? Uh -huh. it, it's like, for example, I think that the downtown it, yes. it's it's polluted mm -hmm. uh, no okay. fresh air yes that's exactly contaminado, contaminado. that's polluted mm -hmm. let us read the first paragraph and tell me which of these adjectives would you use in this paragraph Yes, it's the most beautiful city. The most beautiful city. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it true? It's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so you could say Venice is the most interesting city in the world and one that can be truly described as unique. Each building is a world of art. Its magical scenery is very beautiful, can be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Orlando, because there are many Disney parks, it's amazing. One can never be when visiting Orlando. Which ones would you use there? Exciting. Orlando is very big city. No, fairy tale. Oh, no. Fairy tale like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, very polite. Fairy tale like. Exciting. <laughs> Calambre. <laughs> okay, uh, so you read the, uh, the the paragraph. Which adjective could be the first one? Orlando is a very exciting, 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 exciting. It's the, the, the perfect word to say. Orlando is a very exciting city because there are many Disney parks. It's amazing. One can never be. One can never be bored when visiting Orlando. Now, let's move. Mumbai. And it's a very polluted. Mumbai is a very polluted? There live 18 million people. Uh, crowded. 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 Uh -huh. crowded. That's the perfect adjective there. Mumbai is a very crowded city. There live 18 million people. And Chisiaba is very big. Uh, the, area, 
polluted. Yes, yes. polluted. The air there is not healthy. There are so many traffic congestions and dust. Great Garden is a tiny city in Switzerland. It's a very safe. safe. It's very safe. Children can walk alone everywhere. And it's also very clean. 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 They can swim in a river. Can swim in a, in a, in a, right. in a <laughs> you did a very very amazing job and i know that you found a uh, new vocabulary which is great um new vocabulary is going to help you a lot okay let's continue moving i i have a question yes roberto uh, why some case using ing and other case ed oh, like uh, well remember that these ones are adjectives estos son adjetivos no son verbos mm -hmm. okay. entonces ellos ya ya son así no no es porque estén en pasado no esos son adjetivos mm -hmm. okay. any other question no más, no más, eh, um, no más que da la impresión, quizás como, uh, uh, como dice Roberto, que tal vez por el IN se escucha, eh, eh, se escucha bien, estimados. Sí. Ok, perdón. Yeah. Eh, yes. Da esa impresión de que el interesting, exciting, eh, pudieran confundirse, pero no, en este caso son adjetivos calificativos y son así, no es que estemos diciendo, eh, no, no se deberían de confundir con, con, con running o con otra, con un verbo, hay que identificar claro. entonces, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, estos son adjetivos, como ya bien lo dijo, son calificativos, nos, nos ayudan a describir, a, a describir un nombre. En este caso, vaya, por ejemplo, aquí, Venice is the most, y dice Siri. Aquí el nombre es Siri, pero ciudades hay muchas. Es como un nombre común decir ciudad. Okay. ¿Qué la hace única? Un adjetivo. Decir okay. interesante, exciting, emocionante, lindo. Beautiful. Lo que la describe es un adjetivo. Entonces, los adjetivos nos ayudan a, a describir un nombre. En cambio, un verbo se refiere a una acción. Acción. Excelente. Ajá. Gracias. Good question. Eh, Muy eh, bien. Eso les va ayudando a identificar qué es qué. Eh, uh -huh. en, en, en español, le diré, eh, la pregunta era más que todo, eh, ¿por qué en algunos casos es ID y en otros ING? En el caso de estas palabras negritas. Ajá, ajá, ¿Por qué no es, eh, por, por, ex, por ejemplo, eh, boring? or excited, depende del contexto. Lo que pasa es que, vaya, si yo digo, uh, yo, eh, si me refiero a mí como persona, a mi estado, y digo que estoy emocionada, ahí no digo, I am excited. Si va con el verbo to be, lo voy a decir con ed, excited. Excited, I am excited. Estoy emocionada, I'm excited. Right? Pero si me refiero a una cosa o un lugar, it's, it's exciting. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah? Yeah. If you describe your state. So, um, uh, I feel, si digo me siento aburrida, digo, I feel bored. Yeah. Yeah? O si digo, tal cosa es aburrida. O, o eh, mm, I, I, I say, um, I don't know, um, the countryside is a boring place. En este caso, sí va con ING. It will depend, dependerá de qué estamos hablando en, en, en el context. Ok, thanks. Oh, teacher, es que yo ese word lo he visto como boring, como adjetivo. Boring. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's an adjective. Eh, la palabra es, es, es 
the function is a, an adjective. Uh -huh. de la función de la palabra. Very good. Okay, let's move. Then we have the video about there is, there are, one, any, and so on. I know that we discussed this topic in the previous module when you were in pre-intermediate one, but let's see if you remember. What is it there is and there are? What do we use them for? Um, there is a, one you refer to mass, one, one thing. Singular and plural. Okay, yes, it has to do with singular and plural. We use yeah. there is for singular and there are for plural. Oh, now, yeah. what do we use them for? We for countdowns and uh, for for mass nouns. Okay, we use courses. yes. We use them. There is and there are to mention the existence or not existence of something. Yeah. Para mencionar o para hacer mención de la existencia o no existencia de algo. Es como decir hay, de, de, de haber, no de dolor. Hay de haber, vea. So, you say, um, uh, there, is, there is a big park in my neighborhood. Ok, estoy hablando de la existencia de un parque en mi vecindario. There is a park in my neighborhood. Ahora, para decir la no existencia de algo, entonces decimos there isn't o there aren't. There aren't. Ajá, uh -huh. so I can say there isn't o there aren't, there aren't any convenience stores around here. Ok, uh, and that, that's the use of this. And we usually mention uh, also the one, any, or some as quantifiers. Usamos a veces eh, eh, cuantificadores como, por ejemplo, one, if it is singular, any in some cases, and some in other cases. We're going to explain that and watch it in a video and then we're going to practice probably we will practice tomorrow because of the time because we we only have less than 20 minutes but we will start covering this topic and practice a little bit more in that tomorrow that the first thing is to watch the video and then we will discuss it sure yes but use the risk only in countable now, sure. For singular, uh, yes, there is. Uh, excuse me, it's raining. Uh, sorry about that. Yes, we use there is um, for singular noun. Okay, um, it can it has to do also if the noun is countable or an uncountable. También eh, se toma en cuenta, verdad, si el nombre es contable o es un incontable para usar there is, there are some, y any. Eh, y eso es lo que vamos a estar practicando. Uh, let me share my screen and this is like uh, there is uh, something in me. it started raining here so I may <laughs> have um, issues with my connection I have to know because yeah, it's raining heavy <laughs> All right, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. 
we'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind Between On the corner of If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, Is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying yes there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay, so that was the video. And um, was the video or the explanation clear about how to use those quantifiers and the prepositions? Yes, ma'am. Teacher, teacher. Okay, good. So, no questions about this? Hey, I have a question. Yes? Uh, we use one when we don't want to mention the proper name again. Yes, uh huh. In order to avoid repetition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, and that's why, um, and also we were, uh, as you saw in the video, we are going to use is when we are mentioning a singular noun, right? We use are for plurals. We're going to use any uh, in questions and in negative statements. We are going to use some in questions and in affirmative statements. Mm -hmm. Is that clear or let me know si, si, si está claro, si quieren que les dé más ejemplos o, o que explique un poco más. We use any only question and negative statement. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And some in question and affirmative statement. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Clear. And then we have also the prepositions that we are going to be using in this it's preposition on, next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, mm -hmm. behind, between, on the corner of. Are you clear with the meaning of the prepositions? Yes. Only, only, only on, the, on the corner of is like uh, a la vuelta de la esquina. 
Yeah. On the corner uh, of. Um, on the corner mm -hmm. of es, es exactamente en la esquina de. Para decir oh. a la vuelta de la esquina, le agregamos around. Mm -hmm. Around the corner. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. Good question. Uh, anybody else? What's the difference between near and close to? It's the same. It's the same. Uh -huh. So you have them both, like for across from and opposite, it is also the same. In back of and behind, it's, it's, it's lo mismo. Okay. I uh, saw so you raise your hand, Paul. Vi que levantó la mano. My I teacher, mm -hmm. uh, because I I believe that close to is a la par de, eh, near is cerca de. Eh, ambos to. son lo mismo. Close to y near es lo mismo. Close okay. To. También across from y opposite eh, vienen siendo lo mismo. Eh, mm. Uh -huh. eh, igual in back of y behind significan lo mismo. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, on the corner of, eh, <coughs> in Spanish, I understand that says en la esquina formada por Main Street and, and Elm Street. And exactly, Elm yes. Good one. Uh -huh. That is a good one, Sandra. Cuando decimos in the corner of, ese uh -huh. off tiene que llevar algo adicional en la esquina de tal calle o en la esquina de tal avenida. Yes, yes on the okay. corner of First Street and uh, on the corner of Avenida El Volcán, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Tenemos que mencionar en la esquina de, de qué calle <coughs> o de qué avenida. Uh -huh. okay. Exactly. Good one. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Sandra. You're welcome. Anybody else? I have a question. Yes. Eh, across siempre va a ir acompañado de from. Across. Across from. Across from. Eh, no, it's not always. Like, for example, you can say across the street. <coughs> puede decir al otro lado o al cruzar la calle. Across the street. Y lo puede decir across from the street. Ambas formas son correctas. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Any other question? Pueden hacer preguntas y pueden agregar cosas también que nos van ayudando, ¿verdad? Así como lo que decía la compañera. Pues, entiendo que on the corner of hay que agregarle algo. Es así. Miss, uh -huh. uh, ok, este, para usar near, también, o sea, se puede decir near to me, como close to me, is the same near to me. Uh, sí, solo que en el near ya no usamos el to. Ah, o sea, solo near, near, near me. me. Near me, ah, close to me, okay. yes, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I have a question. For example, uh, you can say you can say uh, there are many ways to uh, like I said. There, you can say there are many ways. Many ways. It's possible. Yes. Yes. So there are many ways to give directions. Oh, for, for example. example. Sí, hay muchas sí. formas de dar direcciones, entonces a veces este, hay que buscar ¿verdad? de qué forma eh, dar direcciones, no hay una forma eh, específica, ¿verdad? Y, y a eso es lo que vamos también en el tema y se vale el ejemplo, porque es como que, ay, ¿cómo le digo? Eh, estoy viendo aquí, pero aquí nos ayudamos con todo este vocabulario, hay muchas formas de decir lo mismo, me voy a adelantar un poquito. So, for example, if I ask, uh, where is the post office? Ahí decimos, there are many ways to get to the post office. 
hay muchas maneras de describir dónde está la oficina postal. Okay. ¿Cuál sería una? Si yo digo, where is the post office? Give me one of these ways. It's in the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Ajá, esa es una forma. It's on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Tell me another way. Next to Joyce Gym. Excellent. It's Excellent. next to Joyce Gym. Joyce Gym. Ajá. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Park. In front of. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's across from the park. Mhm. Uh -huh. In front of, of electronics. It's in front of the electronics store. Mm -hmm. So it's as you see, strip, um, it's on Main Street. Park. It's on Main Street across Main from the street. park. And you see, park. there are many ways to give directions. Okay. May I teach you? Sure. Well, uh, for example, is there any gym around here? Yes, there is one between po the post office and uh, the gross, no, or there is department, I know, casi no se ve, teacher. Or there is department store. Or there is department store eh, on Main Street. Excellent, yes. So that is, it's not difficult. And what makes it easy? Que lo hace fácil? Que hay muchas formas. Miss, de ya pasó lista. Eh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, ¿Hm? oh, no, ahí está. <laughs> teacher, ya pasó lista. No, um, right away. Gracias por recordarme. Ok. Se me ha quedado congeladillo. Ya estoy teniendo problemas con mi conexión. Ooh. Congelado is like freeze. Oh. It's frozen. Uh -huh. yeah, frozen. You're frozen. Oh, ah, frozen. Yes. 